Hey, Wizard Colorado here with a quick tutorial using StreamerBot and a receipt printer. This is kind of an updated tutorial of Nutty's that where he showed how to set up a thermal printer for printing out, say you get a raid, a sub, or even bits on Twitch and you'd like to have a, a receipt printed off for them. Definitely check out his tutorial for a little bit more in depth. This is just kind of an update because StreamerBot has changed the way triggers work. So I'm just kind of um, showing that the receipt printer still works. So we're going to need a few things. We're going to need StreamerBot. So go StreamerBot, definitely download the newest version. It's my favorite uh, Twitch and YouTube uh, alert manager. So need StreamerBot. We're going to need the tools from DJ Tio. All the links for all this stuff will be down in the information section at the bottom too. I mean, we need the the actions from DJ Tio. Definitely throw them a few bucks if you have it. I, you know, I threw them a few bucks because I don't know how to code and I would never been able to figure this out. And then we're going to need a receipt printer. I bought this particular mo model, the Rongta POS printer. It's an 80 millimeter thermal printer. It's currently on sale on Amazon. Of course, it probably won't be on sale when I get this uploaded, but $84.99, not too bad. I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that, so I'm just gonna put it into the information on the bottom. So I'm not gonna make anything off of it, but you know, that's all right, because I really love this thing. I've been using this one for a year and a half, haven't had any problems with it. <clears throat> so once you have those three items, we can get this set up. Basically, you're going to, from DJTO, you're going to get um, an import code and a file called TO Tools. So if we go into my streamer bot and you see TO Tools, I have this in my current streamer bot version. Since they've uh, changed it now, it automatically updates. So I've had, you know, all the streamer bot versions up from 1.14 to 2.2. It's all in the same folder now. So I've got the TO tools in there. And with the TO tools, there should be another file that has the import code. You, it's a, a long list of, you know, numbers and letters. You just copy that. And what we're going to do is paste that into streamer bot and you just put that into the import string so if you go in here import you paste the m this import string into there and it should give you a list of actions and basically what it gives you is the stream printer and the stream printer add-ons your list might not look exactly like mine because even though i don't know how to code i have gone into his code a little bit and I figured out a few things so I'll, I'll get it into that at the end but basically what you want to do is go into this config goes here once you go go into that in the sub actions you're going to, have to see these three sub actions it's going to set argument to debug to false set argument printer name to and this is going to be the name of the printer you bought so if you bought the same printer I did I just put the name of that in there if you go if you're using a Windows, you just go into the Windows printers, find that printer, make sure you put the name exactly the same as it is in there, right there. And then paper size, A6, that's just, you know, the standard size of those small thermal printers. And that's it. That's all you need to get it set up to work. For the actions to take place, say you want something to go off when you get some bits. And that's easy enough to do before under the platforms under twitch it would have a bunch of events that would take place since i forgot what streamer bot update it was they've changed the way triggers work now so we'll, to trigger an action in the new streamer bot we want to come into the actions tab and we want to make an action for some bits i already have some set up so we'll kind of go go through mine say you can have it for all bit amounts. You can have one alert. I just happen to have several different alerts for different bit amounts. Say I got one bit. Some donate me one bit, which, you know, it's awesome. I appreciate that, you know, and I've got a couple sub actions in here. So when somebody 
cheers one bit on Twitch. It will go, the trigger is Twitch, cheer, and exact one bit. So to set up a, a trigger, you just come in here, you right click, we'll go down to Twitch, and then the cheers are under chat. So you go to chat, and there's cheer. So you can click cheer, you set up your amount that you like to say you want something for 20 bits, you want it exactly for 100 bits, or you can just set it for all bits. So you can have it go off at any bit amount. So once you get your trigger set up, and then you want to come down to your sub actions. And this is where we're going to put the action print Twitch event. So any Twitch event from raid to bits to gifted subs to sub bombs, you know, they all use this action print Twitch event. And basically what we want to do is put that into our sub action under our bits so i'm under one one cheer triggered and then under my sub action i technically have two different actions i can go off when i get cheered one bit so it'll do one or the other randomly so i have this under both of them so it'll print action print twitch event and then down here you see action print twitch event and this is all the rest of this stuff that works or goes off when I get a, a bit or so I have you know different it says if you want to like know more about all the stuff that happens on my alerts you know we can make up different videos but this is more about the the printer right now so we just want to drop that action print twitch event in there and that's it so as soon as somebody tw tips you one bit that action will go off it will print out and just say you've got one bit. It's very fun. And actually, let's let's make a new one. So we'll kind of run through this, and I'll show you how to do it. Say I want one for 20 bits. So I'm going to add one in here. I'm going to call it Cheers 20, since it kind of goes with my naming conviction. Then I come in here. We want to add a trigger. So this is going to go off every time I get 20 bits. So we want to come down to Twitch, and it's in the chat, you can see cheer. So minimum and max, it's going to be 20 and 20. So if we get 20 bits, it'll, it'll happen when we get 20 bits. And then for the sub action, this is where you can get creative and have different alerts and stuff go off. But for we're going to make this one pretty, pretty standard, pretty simple. We're going to come to core, going to come to action, and we're going to run an action. And what action do we want to run? We want to run one of those ones we just imported from DJTO. If you go to your list and find the stream printer, those six actions, you want to print Twitch events. So we select that one and click OK. So now anytime we get 20 bits, it will automatically print off on the printer. Who, who you got the bits from, the amount of bits and everything. So say you got a raid. So I'll go in here and look for my raid events. I got two different raids, one for any any amount. So like if one through 19 people raid me, it will do off of this uh, sub alert. So we got Twitch type, it's a raid, and then it will go off. See right here, I've got that um, action print twitch event right there so once i get raided like mu much like uh mr pebbles one it will print off the raid event say you want to set up for subs so you got gifted subs you got resubs and you got regular subscriptions and i've got that action print twitch event in there so that's really all you have to do to set it up for the alerts to work they have he has a couple other things that in here that are fun so if we go back to our list of things um you can also use for stream elements so if you get a stream elements alert you can have it go off for like somebody gave you money on stream elements it'll go off for that stream labs also it'll go off so if somebody tips you on stream labs you can get it to you just have to add that 
print function call to action. Instead of using the Twitch events, you use, you use the call to action. It's a little bit different, but you know, it still, it still works. He has these other add-ons on here. These two you won't have because this is something I made for my, my own stream. I'm a dice maker and I loved rolling dice and stream. So we have a couple different, uh, like, Channel point redemptions. I also can do a voice voice command, like rolling some dice, or like roll with advantage. So if I say roll some dice, it should automatically it should show it on the stream. I rolled a five, not the greatest roll, but as you can see, it also printed that out. So I dice roll. I rolled a five. It says I rolled it. I rolled a five. So, you know, something I set up, that's only because I went in there and I was able to kind of figure out how it was printing and stuff. I'm not completely for sure how to do the rest of the stuff, like the the printing the cat, which I was about to get to that. The print a, print a cat, the random cat, no longer works, sadly, which that was one of my favorite Channel Point Redemptions. You could redeem to print a cat, and that doesn't seem to work anymore. But the print of waifu, the waifu, that does work still. So, like, to set that up, I made a channel point redemption in stream. So if you go to my platforms, channel point rewards, and you look down at my 300 level, it's a waifu for you. So I basically made an action. So we go into waifu. And... <clears throat> The, the trigger is the redemption of the waifu for you. And then it goes through all these sub actions. It does a Twitch message. It does a YouTube message because I stream on Twitch and YouTube now. And then speaker bot says something like uh, somebody has redeemed a waifu. And then it does that print a waifu action that was in, in that list. So print a waifu. So it does that and then you'll get a waifu we'll just we'll just print one of those right now so we can kind of see that let's see there we go print me a little waifu this ardolfko has requested a waifu takes you know a few seconds but then oh there we go got a little get a little waifu let me got a little waifu from from me right there so much fun. Um, there's a couple other functions that work. We got a fortune cookie, which is fun. You can redeem that and it'll give you a fortune. They're more kind of like sayings. I don't know if they're exactly fortunes, but <laughs> it's still it's still fun. So I have a channel point redemption for the fortune cookie, but it also prints off the lotto number at the same time. So these two actions I have print off together. So like if I go to my print a fortune, uh, my channel this point. Has I'll that. A fortune. So then I'll get a fortune. So fortune for me, my fortune for tonight. Trust your intuition. That's my my fortune. And then it also prints off lotto numbers. I did alter the lotto number a little bit. So it actually is Powerball. Before it would give you five digits, but I wanted the Powerball numbers just in case, you know, one of my my followers wins Powerball. That would be awesome. I'm like, hey, we got those numbers from you. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. So I, I went in there, altered the code a little bit, so it prints off that fifth digit or the, the six digits. So you get the five digits for your regular number and then the Powerball number. So... A little bit, a little bit of work around in the code to understand how it worked. Like I'm saying, I'm not a coder, and I was just able to kind of look at the the file, so I can kind of show you here. But if you go into that To Tools Stream Printer, he has some of this stuff that you're not going to really mess with. The add-ons is going to be for like the the waifu, the fortune cookie, and that kind of stuff, the fortunes. And then the templates is for all 
the Twitch thing. So if you go in there and look and kind of look through the files, like if you go to add-ons, you open this HTML source file, you can kind of read through it and it's, it's a little bit complicated, but I was able to kind of figure out what was going on. There's still a lot that I don't understand. I'm just like, I'm really good at reverse engineering things. So I was able to parse the things that I needed and get those like the roll of the dice things to work. So like if you want to take on that challenge, definitely save a copy of it if you go in there and mess with anything because if not, you'll break it and it won't print right. Besides that, they have, you know, there's just fortune cookie, a lot of numbers, print waifu works. The random cat is a little bit different than the waifu. They kind of, the waifu is in the, under that that add-ons thing I was talking about. It's in that file. It goes to a website. It finds an image between a certain number and it prints that for you. The, the cat one is a little bit different. I have not been able to figure out exactly how that works because it, it doesn't go to that add-on folder. It actually runs right into StreamerBot. So he's going to an to a website called this cat does not exist.com and he's printing off a cat and an image from that file a cat of from that website and for some reason it does not work anymore which does it does sadden me because it was a fun channel point redemption so i'm still trying to work and see if i can make one that works similar to the waifu one but you know, you can always follow DJTO's Discord also. And it says he, if you go to that, uh, his page here, it says um, you should share designs and you can be able to share designs in his Discord. So if you follow his Discord, you might be able to talk to him and actually understand how this stuff works. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a tinkerer, so I like to figure out stuff, but it would be nice to pick his brain to about how those things work and the last thing is this custom use custom text demo and i was able to change that a little bit so i made up um the channel point redemption so when you redeem it you can type into the chat and it will print off what you what you say in in chat i don't know if i have one of those handy for me right now yes Here's one from the cave badger and it says, here's a message from the cave badger. It says, love you, Wiz. Love you, badger. Always appreciate cave badger. Always showing the support. But then, you know, that's something I was able to kind of mess with the code a little bit and print it out. Like if you know how to use streamer bot and if you're a coder, you'll probably be able to figure it out easier than I did. I know how to use streamer bot a little bit, not a coder and i was still able to figure it out so <laughs> you might have better luck than i do but you know all i did was add a new argument in there set the text to raw input and if you kind of look through the code you kind of understand what's what's happening in there and i just set it to print the raw input so whatever someone types into the chat it will print out onto the receipt so i don't know if any of this was helpful for you definitely hit that like button and hopefully I have more tutorials this year if you love like the streamer bot and stuff i definitely can deep dive on some of the the actions and sub actions in there one of my favorite tools to use for streaming i also use lumia stream for lights and other other function because um, lumia stream has come a long way since i first started using it i really started using it just for lights and that kind of thing changing light colors but they've added so much more functionality to that program i really do love it so if you like any of the tutorials on and that stuff leave me a like leave a comment let me know what you would like to see and I'll hopefully 2024 we'll have a lot more tutorials and you know maybe some more dice tutorials too but until next time whiz out